Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and today I know, I know, I did not plan on doing a video about this because I thought I was done talking about all of the tweets and everything like that that had to do with the Halloween at home live stream that was going on this past weekend with Blumhouse and the Halloween page and all the actors and crew and everything like that from Halloween 2018 that was watching Halloween 2018 live along with um, audiences on Twitter. Um, I thought I was done with that talk, but when it came down to it, there's actually something a little bit more that I wanted to talk about. And I was talking about this with James Grimm and Barry from Wolfman's Got Nards during the live stream. Um, there was a few things that were brought up that I just was like, you know what, I kind of want to do a video on it because I actually think that this could be interesting. And now that I've put a little bit more thought into it, I think that it might actually be possible if you will. Now, a couple of you are calling me crazy, maybe, and a couple of you are going to probably be really pissed off if that is actually the case. But um, let's start with the obvious thing that we all knew was actually going to be in Halloween Kills, and that is the Myers house. It was confirmed this past Saturday from David Gordon Green, the uh, co-writer and director of Halloween Kills, that the Myers house is in fact returning in Halloween Kills. Now, I'm currently reading the Halloween 2018 novelization, which I know that they've mentioned it, and I believe from what I've heard of the novelization that the Myers house is actually burned down in um, the novel for Halloween 2018. Um, so it'll make me curious to see how that's going to play into the movie. Now, I don't know because I haven't read the entire book yet. I am currently reading it, but it was confirmed nonetheless from David Gordon Green that the Myers house is actually in Halloween Kills. Now, I know that there are some of you that have already seen the movie. If you have seen the movie, please don't freaking spoil it for anybody because you will be blocked from this channel permanently. I don't tolerate that bullshit. Don't spoil this movie, especially, you know, because it's one that I'm looking forward to seeing and I don't want to be spoiled, especially because we're in May with the movie comes out in less than five months. Now, I'd like to go into it as open minded as I can without theorizing anything, <laughs> uh, even though here I go with a theory uh, and that is, is Officer Hawkins still alive? Because there was a tweet on Saturday's live stream that actually grabbed my attention right away. Uh, and even during the live stream on Barry's channel, Wolfman's Got Nards, you can see it that my attention literally shot up instantly once I saw this tweet from somebody that was like, I wish Hawkins was still alive. And David Gordon Green responded, oh, do you? He didn't say like, yeah, me too. He didn't say like anything along the lines of like, sorry, he's dead. He just said, oh, do you with a question mark? So it makes me wonder, is Officer Hawkins still alive for Halloween Kills? Now, Everybody is probably like, well, that's impossible simply because he got stabbed like right in the throat area and then he got stabbed again. But when Dr. Stratain stabbed him again, we didn't see where he stabbed him. We didn't see if it was like in the throat area again and he was still moving, you know, <clears throat> he was like still twitching on the ground. And then, yes, he got his legs got ran over by a car. But it makes me wonder, is there some possible way? that he could have survived um, that entire incident. Maybe in Halloween Kills, maybe he's going to be laying next to Lori at Haddonfield Memorial. Maybe they get there and they find Officer Hawkins laying next to Lori. Like maybe they're like, you know, roommates or something like that for the remainder of Halloween Kills. And maybe in Halloween Ends, they both are teaming up again. Because I really liked in Halloween 2018 where they could have gone with the Lori and Hawkins storyline because you can tell that there was some backstory there that I wish that they would have gotten a little bit more in depth on. I wish that it would have been further explained because that could have added so much more to Halloween 2018. And I definitely did not see Hawkins dying. That was something that was like a big what the F to me. I think it was a big what the F to like literally everybody that saw that movie. I thought that if he was going to die, it would have been by Michael Myers and not from somebody like Dr. Sartain. So perhaps he is still alive. There's a pot. There's a very slight possibility just from this past weekend that perhaps Hawkins is still alive. Again, that's not something that I can confirm. It's just a theory that maybe he did survive that. And maybe that's going to be one of the surprises in Halloween kills. 
and it's that Hawkins is potentially maybe laying next to Lori in um, Haddonfield Memorial Hospital because we know that they're going back there. I'm just curious to see if that is the case because of what David Gordon Green was saying on Blumhouse's Twitter this past weekend. So that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Post your guys' comments down below. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Officer Hawkins can still be alive? Is there a very slight a slight possibility of it. Whatever you guys' thoughts are, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.